Could you spell your name for us? Uh, Daryl Fisher, D A R R Y L F I S H E R. Glad I asked, I would have had that one. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be the only one. So, uh, what influenced you to be a part of uh, Agents Aviation? Well, it was kind of by accident. Um, I actually gave the first dream flight, March 29, 2011, in Oxford, Mississippi. And I gave it in my dad's airplane. Had no idea that it would go on. We gave our 4,000th flight last week. Congratulations. And it was one of those things that was such a rich experience that my wife, I, I'd send her pictures and was telling her about it. She goes, we gotta keep doing this. And so it spawned from that one little dream flight into now we've got four airplanes, 12 pilots, and we've given over 4,000 dream flights. So are you the head of this? Is this all you? I am. I'm the founder and president of the organization. Outstanding. Yeah. Nice. And I take out the trash. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> so um, what's been your most significant memory so far in doing this? You know, I've had the opportunity to fly some amazing people people that you wouldn't even recognize their names, but the sacrifice and the commitment that they had during World War II and for our military and for our freedoms has been amazing. So I've learned so much about history. I've learned so much about human nature and the human spirit. It's been unbelievable, and I never thought that would be the case. And I like how you involve the families in this because, you know, the, the, the soldiers, sailors, airmen, their families were just as invested. In what they were. And I, I, we, that's why we don't just take veterans. We'll take most people in their 80s and 90s have given some way. Okay. I mean, I've talked to, to um, I've taken many ladies who their husbands were in the military. They had four brothers that were in the military. And they sacrificed and they served in their own way and gave in ways that we don't even understand. It's kind of a little bit off topic. Uh, working with people can be exhausting, you know, to be honest. Uh, what keeps you embedded in doing this? Well, today, you know, we're flying eight veterans from the, the uh, Springfield Masonic Retirement Unit. And I'll get to see a transformation right before my eyes. When I get them in the cockpit, they're apprehensive, they're nervous. That goes away, then smiles, then excitement, then energy. They get out with a spring in their step. And honestly, in life, how often do you get a chance to do something that direct that makes a difference in somebody's life? It gives me tremendous energy. I mean, I gave the first flight nine years ago. I'm just as, actually I'm more excited today because I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> than I was nine years ago. Because it's just such a rich experience for people. So you have a, an older airplane and you're taking up older people. Has anyone ever told you, hey, this might not be a good idea? Or is everybody pulled behind you? Oh yeah, no, we, we get people that think, oh, it's, you know, I'm not healthy enough, I'm not this, I'm not that. But you know what, in reality, I get, I don't know, 25% of people say, man, if I gotta go, this is a great way to go. I say, no, no, that's, that's, let's not be doing that. But think about it, you're in your 90s. I mean, how cool is this? So, I think a lot of times people can forget about the seniors, you know, especially by generation. Have you learned any good lessons from them, from this venture? What, I, what I've learned is, is that it doesn't matter how old you are, when you want to do something, the human spirit, the human will, you find a way. I've wheeled tons of veterans out in a wheelchair to the airplane with their, their son or their daughter kind of chirping in my ear saying, hey, you know, we know dad can't get in, it's okay, just take some pictures. I'll lock the wheelchair, he'll stand up and virtually get into the airplane unassisted because he wants to. There's an inner desire that humans have, and I've learned that by watching people in this process. And to me, that is incredibly powerful. I tell you what, you you were still my faith in humanity by doing this. I, I appreciate it. Well, it's funny, you know, because 
one of our pilots was pretty cynical. He's an American airline pilot. He was pretty cynical about corporate America and big business and all that. And he started flying veterans in these airplanes. And he, he said the same thing. He said, it restored my faith in our country because of the people he met, the people we get to work with, the stories we heard. It, it works the other way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Can you tell us a little bit about your steerman? This airplane was built in 1940, and it trained World War II pilots in the military. My grandfather bought this very airplane in 1946. No kidding. He did. He owned it from 1946 to 1948. I actually flew a World War II veteran in Spokane, Washington, in this airplane that he had taken a flight in it in the 40s, his neighbor. Oh, that's so, so cool. This particular airplane is real special to me. There's four generations of my family have flown this airplane. Outstanding. And now, if my grandfather and grandmother knew what it was doing now, or they, you know, they're looking down on me. It's just been better. And, and they're real, real proud. Uh, well done. So, can I ask you where you're where you're based out of? Where you live? We're based out of Carson City, Nevada. Nevada, okay. Yeah. Long and you have multiple away. planes, or just this one? This, we have four airplanes, Okay. and we're building our fifth. Yeah, we just dedicated the Spirit of Wisconsin uh, just in, in June. It's going to be based out of the upper Midwest. Okay. And then the, the airplane we're building now is called the Spirit of Texas. It's going to be based out of Texas. Okay. Are you going to keep all steermen in your room? They're perfect. Oh, they're beautiful. They're the perfect airplane. I, I wing walked on one once, but I've never flown no. in one. You wing walk? I was just a glorified foot ornament. I didn't do anything but stand there terrified. Was this out in Washington? Dayton. Oh, about Dayton. three years ago. Okay. Thank you so Beautiful much. Beautiful plane. That's crazy. Beautiful plane. <laughs> All right. Can you get this out? Sure. Thank you so much. Wow. Appreciate, it. You guys. So appreciate it. Appreciate it. Well, you'll see. Are you going to be around today? Sir? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be around. You'll, you're welcome to come out when we're loading and unloading and oh, stuff, and you can talk to people and get pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time.